Hello, within this part we will discuss about uh, different intertask communication techniques which can be used within FreeRTOS operating system. Intertask communication is an important part of each operating system. We have few possible techniques uh, within FreeRTOS and CMCSOS which can be used here. And it is uh, extremely important to understand advantages and disadvantages of each of the techniques and select them properly within your application. The most known and uh, most powerful one technique is Q. Q allows you to pass the information between the tasks, to pass a bit more information than just on-off. So it can be structure, it can be any type of the information, it can be a pointer. The queues and operation on, uh, in fact operations on queues uh, may block the tasks uh, while they are trying to put something uh, to the queue or get something from the empty queue. So it is important mechanism as well to manipulate on tasks and uh, block them somehow uh, when they are requesting some more information. We will discuss those in the separate section and uh, we will try to demonstrate uh, each advantages and disadvantages of the queues. The next point, the next technique uh, within intertask communication are semaphores. Within FreeRTOS uh, and CMCSOS, in fact, uh, we've got two types of semaphores uh, widely used. Uh, binary semaphores, uh, which are uh, in fact on-off schemes, and uh, counting semaphores, uh, which can be given and or taken uh, a few times more than one. So those are quite good and simple technique to uh, synchronize the tasks and synchronize uh, the task uh, from interrupt, for example. The disadvantage is that we do not have the full control on the fact uh, which of the tasks which are waiting for the semaphores will be allowed to take it. It is decided by the scheduler based on the priority of the task and uh, on the time which is spent on waiting for the semaphore. Those uh, issues are not visible within event flags, uh, which are quite a new mechanism uh, within FreeRTOS, and those are allowing us to synchronize uh, tasks uh, on multiple events or together, and uh, we have uh, to our disposal from 8 to 24 bits, uh, uh, which can be used for the synchronization, uh, multiple events, multiple tasks. And uh, the important point is that uh, this technique is not available within CMC SOS API version 1. In version 2 it is, it is uh, present, uh, so we can, uh, we can use them uh, as well. We've got, uh, again, the uh, separate section of this part uh, as well. Then, quite interesting one is uh, direct-to-task notification, called as well the event uh, threads, that uh, are using the precise communication between the tasks. So, one task uh, is sending the combination of the bits to the, the other tasks. The address C is really well known, well identified, and uh, it can be used uh, to have much more control on uh, the signal passed between the tasks. On top of those techniques, uh, we can put mutexes, uh, which are used uh, to guard the shard resources. Mutexes must be, uh, let's say, taken and released always on the, in that order by the each task that uses those resources. So once uh, we take the mutex, we should give it back. So uh, it cannot be given back by other tasks. Uh, so this is very important point. And uh, there is as well the dedicated part on this. So you can follow all of those groups uh, in the next uh, sections, which would uh, be built from theoretical part and then would be illustrated by the hands-on parts. Thank you for watching this video.